Gladys Berejiklian, who admitted this week she failed to provide ICAC with information she had on Daryl Maguire in 2018 when he resigned from Parliament after being caught on a phone tap at ICAC discussing developer commissions. She told the New South Wales Parliament in 2018, after Mr Maguire's resignation, that anyone with any concerns over Mr Maguire should not wait in rushing down to ICAC. As the Leader of the Opposition would be well aware, there is an investigation before the Independent Commission Against Corruption. Order. Again, I ask for interjections to cease. Member from Maroubra, that includes you. And, Madam Speaker, the Leader of the Opposition would also well know, given his own personal experience, that you do not require a motion from this place or the other place to refer a matter exactly. to ICAC. If he or anybody else... Member for Bankstown, Member for Strathfield, you're warned. Madam Speaker, if he or anybody else has any issues of concern, I urge them, urge them to take it to... Madam Speaker, I refer my call to every single member of this place. If you see or hear anything which, require, which is of concern, which you feel ICAC should investigate, refer it on the spot. Don't wait three or four weeks. Don't wait three or four weeks. Do it on the spot. That's what Gladys Berejiklian said about going down to ICAC over Darrell Maguire in 2018. I'm going to repeat that. She said, I refer my call to every member of this place. If they see or hear anything that is of concern, which they feel ICAC should investigate, refer it on the spot. At the same time as this... Berejiklian's government opposed a motion from the opposition to refer for Parliament to refer Maguire formally to ICAC, as the Parliament had done with the former Labor Minister Ian MacDonald in 2011. She was arguing that people could refer to someone to ICAC without Parliament doing it. This week, Berejiklian admitted that she waited until ICAC came to her on Mr Maguire in 2020 rather than report him when he resigned after being questioned at ICAC and that phone tap. In 2018, he left Parliament because of corruption allegations. Why did you not go down to ICAC then? Or have your lawyer write to ICAC and say, I've been with this man and I'm aware of his land deals. You are the Premier after all. Uh, can I just say this, that I have been um, absolutely... Uh, overly cooperative with ICAC uh, from the outset and I will, I will I'll, all I will say is this you cannot disclose uh, many of the proceedings that happen behind uh, closed doors but I will say this that I've been overly cooperative. Did you speak to them in 2018? Did you speak to them in 2018? Again I've said this that it's important to respect the processes. But would it not be relevant to ICAC to say hey listen this bloke who's been done for corruption I'm the Premier I should just let you know but, before you find out on your own, I've been in a relationship but with But Ben, them. I also had confidence and do have confidence in the process. They would, have come, they would have known all that and they would have come to me if they needed anything. I'm going to show you again Section 11 of the Independent Commission Against Corruption Act. It states in relation to Ministers of the Crown, a person to whom this section applies is under a duty to report to the Commission any matter that the person suspects on reasonable grounds, concerns or may concern corrupt conduct. Here is a number of phone calls played at the Commission where Maguire talks to Berejiklian about his business interests prior to him resigning after being named at ICAC. Did Sarah ring you from my office? No way. Huh? No way. Oh, she sent me a text because whenever she has to ring a Member of Parliament, she lets me know. Mm. Apparently, Niall Blair's rung up. Mm. To say, tell Dale not to worry. I'm raising the issue on his behalf in China. Good. And they seem to think it's in your electorate. I didn't say anything. I, I just said it. Let me know how it goes. Yeah. Give me um, maybe an offer. All right. Well, you stay away. You stay away, please. Did you get an email from Louise Waterhouse? No. Nope. You will. She'll send you an email. She really pissed off now. So, um, about the you know the the airport. Mm. They're all passing the bus. Right. Same out at um, Camellia too. Okay, so Same out at Camellia. I've got to go. Mm. See you, bye. All right, bye. The good news is William, William tells me we've done our deal. So, hopefully.
hopefully that's about half of all that gone now. That's good. Mm. I don't need to know about that bit. No, you don't. Yeah. And then I had to come and meet our friend Louise, and then uh, because she's having problems, big problems now, they want to make all her area now a greenfield site and just leave it, lock it up. She's furious. And um, this is the Sydney Planning Commission. So anyway, I met her and, and introduced her to people. And um, Jimmy's here with his delegation, who he's had to carry a baby or whatever. So he said, can you come? So I made him go to both the same restaurant. <laughs> and I'll just go from one room to the other. <laughs> How's your trip? Oh, that's hilarious. I'm on a meeting tomorrow morning with Joe and those guys. Try and tie that up. I'm working bloody hard. It's a fun garden fallen through and Jimmy's we got his over the line, it's good. I can't I can't not go to nothing. I have to go to something. There's no future um, doing things for New South Wales government. Now I'm going to play you the phone tap presented at ICAC in twenty eighteen, which led to Maguire's resignation. It's a conversation with then Canberra Count, uh, a Canterbury Councillor, Liberal Councillor Michael Hawat where he discusses developers he's working with, Maguire does, and Hawat brokering a commission in relation to a development with a suggestion Maguire gets some of the commission. My client is mega big uh, and got mega money and, and wants a two or three DA approved projects right now, today. He's got the one in, uh, in Parramatta that's approved as well. Okay, well, if we can have a go at the two of them, um, this other one that we've got in front of him is, is 12 months away and they want to start building today. So I've got to get a couple of really good projects in front of them. All right, OK. I'll, uh, I'll have a chat to him. I'll come back to you, Darren. Well, he needs to do that. Yeah. So, so he needs to do that because 1.5% isn't enough uh, divided by two, if you know yeah, what I'm telling I you. Yeah, I know. I know. So 3% so is a lot better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, leave it to me. I'll, I'll have a chat to him I'll, and I'll come back to you. 1.5% isn't enough, divided by two. Amongst that phone tap evidence is mention of a Joe, Joe Aller, it appears to be. He's the developer who Daryl Maguire took up to Berejiklian's office to meet her, according to evidence before ICAC. Maguire also talks about a mega developer he's working for, you would have heard there. That developer is identified at the Operation Dasher hearings as Charlie Demian. And Demian's advocacy is contained in this email presented at the current ICAC inquiry that Maguire sends the Premier's office and then forwards on to Gladys Berejiklian 19 minutes later to her personal email address. We've already reported that the Premier's office told ministerial staff after Maguire's resignation in 2018 that if they had information on Maguire, they should report it. Yet the Premier did not go to ICAC to discuss what she knew about one of her subordinates, indeed her boyfriend, after he'd gone over the corruption scandal in 2018, despite all these apparent reasons to do so. Instead, she continued a relationship with that boyfriend until last month. Kieran, the Premier maintains she's done nothing wrong.